Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 27th of March for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the standout details to look out for that we can all relate to collectively, but please stay with me. I will go through each of the signs, Aries through to Pisces then, to give you the standout features for each of those and the timings. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. This is very much a community, so please do share any thoughts you've got. I do interact with each comment, and please do subscribe. If you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for joining me once more. Now this week sees a really important alliance between Mars and Pluto that I don't think is going to get that much coverage. Mars is in the sign of Cancer now, which means that it's in fall. This is not its best location, but it's in a, a 150 angle, a quincunx with Pluto in the sign of the collective Aquarius. So Mars in house four, Pluto in house 11. So balancing our emotional responses with how we connect with other people is going to require a degree of patience because Mars in Cancer can be quite defensive and reactive. Also, Pluto in Aquarius is equally in its fall, so not its best location either. So this is a week that when we're discussing anything to do with groups or friendships, committees, we just need to try to be as calm as possible. But it's also a week when on Thursday, three different planetary aspects all reach a peak, and all of them can be very positive. One, Venus in a conjunction with Uranus can have a downside. It just depends on our unique circumstances. But certainly the conjunction between Venus and Uranus pushes us to think about our relationships or our finances in a fresh way. So if things have got a little bit stale in terms of our approach, Uranus is asking us to be a little bit more radical, but it also can give some people the push to separate from someone they may have been close to. So it does have that uh, potential for a downside as well as the potential for innovation. However, the two planets of contracts, Mercury, the planet of trade and commerce, is in a conjunction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, and potentially a fortune. And that also happens on Thursday. Very exciting combination. That's when it becomes exact. But Mars, despite that rather tricky angle to Pluto, is actually forging a really positive one to Saturn. You couldn't really make it up that Mars is having these two relationships and of course, Saturn itself in the sign of Pisces, it's pretty early doors. So all these planets have recently moved, of course, but it just suggests that if we can embrace the more emotional sphere, which is, of course, Saturn in Pisces, Mars in Cancer, in terms of how we structure things, that's a good thing to do. You know, just looking at things in, in a purely purely logical way, which might be the call out to Pluto, is not necessarily the best approach. Now, if you would like to get really excited about more serious astrology, if you give me three pieces of your personal birth data, time, date and place of birth, I can produce for you your life roadmap report, which will give you a much greater understanding of the patterns that have occurred in your life, the more challenging ones, but also where you can seize your qualities with more confidence. Also, within my special package of 30% off, you can get your 12-month personal forecast. This is totally, both these charts are, are totally unique to the person they're produced for and can give searing insights for the times ahead. If you don't know your time of birth, I've set up a new type of chart where you can have the analysis and also the forecast, but more based on your sun sign. Please see the link below for that too. Finally, if you would like your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see the link for that too underneath this video. So Aquarius, Mars is finding its way now in the sixth solar house, very much about 
everyday routines and structures, physical vitality and health. And it's forging a very constructive link this week with your traditional ruler of Saturn. When it comes to being very uh, structured, but also very focused on what's really important at this time, I feel that this combination can be of, of great assistance. Now, of course, the irony is that Pluto in Aquarius is forging a less than helpful angle to Mars, a quincunx. And the challenge there is understanding that Mars requires uh, to give a little bit to others in the sixth house, to be a bit more self-sacrificing. Whereas, obviously, the first house is very much about our identity and our personal needs. So as long as you can balance that, this can be very helpful. Also, Mercury and Jupiter come together in a potentially very fortunate conjunction, which reaches a peak on Thursday. Your ideas, the way you say things, um, your personal charisma are all blessed by this particular alliance. But Venus, the planet of love and also loot, is in the fourth house, very much to do with home, emotion and family, and is in a conjunction also on Thursday with your modern ruler of Uranus. Perhaps you're going to see something around the family dynamic in a different way, or around where you live in a fresh light. It's also possible there could be some news which either delights or you could get a need to reorganise your home to create a bit more space or to decide to move altogether. It's a very fluid combination. But just remember that when Uranus is in the mix, things can keep changing. And if you have felt over the last few years quite unsettled around exactly where to live or how to be, around your emotional situation, it really wouldn't be a surprise. There is also this week a quarter moon on Wednesday. This can create quite a lot of nervous tension. One of the things you can't do this week is everything. So the key here is to decide what's a priority, stick to it, and don't try to do too much. And by the end of this week, I feel you could be rather pleased at the progress you're making.